Good morning. Welcome to TC Eckstein's 413 Community Cafe. And we're here today with a special edition because we are at the Log Cabin in Holyoke, Massachusetts at the Go Red Luncheon. It's a yearly annual event. And this year is very extravagant and beautiful. And we're covering it on the 413 Community Cafe show. So stay tuned. There's lots going on today and we're gonna bring it right to you. We're here today at Go Red, Go Red for Women, which is an organization predominantly for women, by women, about women. It's the voices of women speaking out against heart disease, which turns out to be the number one heart killer among women. Massachusetts we gather every year we have a luncheon wonderful women get together and businesses and associates that all get involved and we wear red once a year we even uh, at times have a big fashion show which is Boston um, people in neighboring towns and communities throw fundraisers in which they have a go red pajama party um, there's so much to get involved with with this Ran into Pam Smith today, a leading lady from 2009, who also gave us plenty to hear about in regards to her story, and I think I'll let her tell you about it. I'm a leading lady myself okay. from 2010. Okay, I was yeah. 2009. Oh, hey, okay, yeah. leading lady, leading lady. <laughs> hey, <you know. laughs> what leading lady is. Okay, well, my daughter actually, she nominated me to be a leading lady. Um, in 2003, I um, decided that I needed to do something for myself. I was caregiving for my mom and um, I was very overweight and I started the journey to lose weight. And so in the course of that year, I lost 50 pounds. I walked my first marathon and um, really got in better shape than I had ever been in my life. And so um, when my daughter nominated me, I was chosen and I've been on the path of healthy eating and trying to do better for myself ever since. Another interesting person we had today was Kimothy Jones, and she's the leading lady of 2015. She had an amazing story to tell us about her dedication and what she does, and I think I'm going to let her tell you all about it. We're here today with a leading lady of Go Red 2015, Miss Kimothy Jones. And hi, how are you today? Hello, how are you, TC? I'm great. It's great to see you and finally meet you. And um, I'd love to hear your story, and so would everyone else out there in the audience. All right, well, it's an honor to be a leading lady for Go Red this year. And I was nominated by a colleague at Bay State Medical Center, Anna Marie Golden. So when I received the nomination and then the notice that I had been selected, I was very excited and eager to represent, uh, particularly as a black woman. We know that women in particular, or in general, suffer from heart disease uh, and die from heart disease more than any other disease. But what some people may not know is that black women uh, suffer from heart disease twice as much. And so as the only 
woman of color in this year's selection of leading ladies, I feel a very strong responsibility to discuss the burden of this disease and the racial and ethnic disparities related to it. Exactly, that's wonderful. That's exactly how I feel about it too. And um, it, it really needs to be more out there in the community and you know, everyone educated that, especially in urban areas because uh, the, the access to insurance and the health needs that need to be met with health coverage issues going on in our country are something that uh, really pr play a big role in, um, with culture and with ethnicity being covered and being taken care of as far as this issue goes. Yeah. Absolutely. Access is very important. But also knowing not just the symptoms, but also what you can do to pre prevent um, developing heart disease, um, particularly if you're not genetically prone to it or have a family history. And you know some of the risk factors that are very easy to eliminate are smoking, you know, quitting cigarette smoking, um, eliminating or at least moderating alcohol consumption, um, uh, eating nutritional meals, a good diet, well-balanced meals, losing weight, you know, because obesity and just being overweight in general. It raises your factors. Exactly, indeed. exactly. And uh, maintaining a regular and consistent physical workout. Did you um, gain all this uh, knowledge on your own or were you seeking it out or if you don't mind me asking is it in your family genetic? No, actually heart disease isn't <laughs> in my family uh, genetic pool. I'm a public health professional for 32 years now and so my focus has been on health equity, addressing racial and ethnic disparities in health and really striving to eliminate those. Well, I believe they really made the right choice here. We've got someone to represent the urban community, and that is a big bonus, a big plus, and congrats to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. As a leading lady voted in for 2010 to 2011, it is such a great honor for me to attend this every year. And given the privilege to have the TV show on today is even more wonderful. My heart story personally is at uh, the age of 40 years old in 2005 I was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy and congestive heart failure. It is hereditary. My father died from it at age 55 and I have two older siblings that have it as well. A So then once I was diagnosed, um, I started following the treatment of my doctor, of course, who decided that it would be best for me to be on medication. I was actually told that my uh, situation was pretty dire, and, what and um, I stay remained very active because I want to notify the public more and more of heart disease being the number one killer among women, and that it is preventable.
Red for Women. And ladies, can you tell us about the event today? And, I w well, I want you to tell me about the event today and what's happening. So we're here in the, at the Log Cabin in Western Mass. And today we're raising awareness about heart disease. And we have a wonderful keynote speaker, Michael Maddy. And we're just here to have a great time and uh, create awareness about heart disease and women and all of our key factors to uh, live a healthier, better, risk-free life. And tell us a little bit about the auctions that are happening today. Uh, we have a bunch of different things that are here today. We have many auction items, different trips. We have a vacation that somebody could bid on to Florida, which is absolutely amazing. And we have different dines and dinner and symphonies. So it's a lot of great different things that are going on here today. Awesome. Thank you, Dawn. And now we're going to hear from Alicia. And Alicia, could you tell us something about the upcoming walk? the walk events? So the Heart Walk is April 26th. It's going to be at Look Park and we are usually expecting about 2,000 people or so to show up so we'd like to see everyone out there to raise money for heart disease and awareness of stroke as well. Um, it's usually a wonderful event. It's a family event. It's a 5k walk and this is a new venue for us this year so it should be really fun. And Look Park is very beautiful. I've, I've loved going up there and I plan on being a big participant in the walk this year. My doctor okayed it so I gotta get some sponsors and stuff. So. Okay wonderful. Well we hope to see you all out there. Yeah we sure do. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you Alicia and um, we look forward to enjoying the event this luncheon afternoon with you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, at the Go Red event, the luncheon's about to begin, but these prominent ladies in the city of Springfield are doing wonderful things. This is my alumni and buddy for years, Janine Fondant. I'm so glad to run into you. I knew I was going to run oh into you today. Goodness. So how is things and how's it going? Well, things are going very well and we're so pleased to see you out here because you are the voice, you are the vision, and uh, we just feel your passion every minute when you sing, when we see you. So when you wear red, I'm with you. Oh, that's so sweet coming from the <laughs> My God. And Susan, yes. it is wonderful to meet you. We thank just you. met today, but yes. I've heard wonderful things about you. Well, thank you. And what thank brings you. you here today with Go Red? You're a supporter. Well, and I'm so pleased to be invited by Janine and Unity First to be here. Yes. And I'm so happy to see such an incredible turnout for women and for those suffering with um, heart disease and all that can be done to help today. Isn't it beautiful here? It's absolutely it's gorgeous. Awesome. It's absolutely we're gorgeous. We're over here by the fireplace, which feels rather warm, but it looks good. So <laughs> That's right. feels we're very good. It. Very good after this but, winter. Yeah, That's yeah right. it's been a long winter. Yeah. But you ladies, enjoy yourself, and thank you so much for stopping and talking in thank with you. us. Right, thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, thank you.